Well, now to an organization that is near and dear to my heart. They help children with special needs here in Southern Arizona, as well as veterans and their families. I'm talking about Trot Therapeutic Riding of Tucson, and they do all of this healing through the power of horses. I want to introduce you to their new executive director this morning, Peter Wells. Good morning, Peter, and welcome to the family. Thank you, Heather. It's, uh, I'm proud to be a part of the family. It's a wonderful place. Well, I've been with the Trout Organization doing some of their fundraisers in years past, and I know we're going to get to the Hearts and Horses Gala here in just a second, but and we haven't had a chance to meet face-to-face. -face. So um, for people who aren't familiar with Trot and aren't familiar with you since you're new, um, tell us about it. Um, my name's Peter Wells, and I'm, I come from public education uh, career, 30 years in Flying Wells School District as a teacher and an administrator, and I retired in 2017 heard about Trot actually during the pandemic. I, I, I had students when I was at Flying Wells Junior High in 2010 that attended Trot for 12-week uh, sessions. Uh, one of our programs of special needs students in the K-5 building is what we called them, the K-5 kids. And it was so powerful back then. And then when I retired during COVID, I saw this job come up and thought, why not give it a give it a whirl? And so here I am. I am selected to be working in one of the most therapeutic places on Earth. And it's a magical place here on Woodland Drive in Tucson. So it's an incredible place to be. It's very special with very special people. So let's talk about some of the programs that Trot offers. Yeah, here at Trot, we and we just started programming. This is our second week of class. We had to put it off during COVID, but we have uh, pretty much four basic real therapeutic programs that we offer. We have equine assisted therapy, which works with uh, students and adults with uh, disabilities, whether it's physical, mental, cognitive. Um, we use horses as a partner in the therapeutic, you know, increasing the ther therapy for our participants. And it's powerful to watch the magic that happens with um, our participants and the therapy that they're getting um, through it. So it's, the equine assisted therapy is uh, serves, many of our students have autism, some students with cerebral palsy, we have spinal cord injuries, uh, students that are participating that way as well. Um, we do have a crane that we are the only mechanical crane in uh, Arizona that, to assist in getting our participants onto a horse. So we can service anybody in that equine therapy program. We also have a program, um, equine assisted psychotherapy, where we have a licensed and certified um, psychologist and mental health professionals. And they use pretty much on the ground work, not necessarily riding the horse for their therapy. And it's just magical and powerful to watch um, the gains that these participants make uh, through the therapy with the horses. We have uh, one of our favorites and it's been around since 2006. Uh, Trot back in 2006 partnered up with the Southern Arizona Veterans Administration and the Wounded Warrior Project. Many of you probably know of and we call it our Heroes on Horses. So we are working with vets and first responders and meet them at their needs. What is it that they need for their th therapeutic needs and our certified instructors work with them to build a plan that is carried out to make them, you know, attain goals and, um, you know, get the best out of their therapy. It's all basically on the individual needs, our, our programs out here. And we have a fourth one, which is called Back in the Saddle. And that's for individuals who have had some experiences with horses in the past and, or maybe somebody who has had like a traumatic experience with horses and they want to get back into uh, working with horses. Um, and it's just powerful to watch the, the bond between the horses and the participants, especially in that program, as they gain their confidence and their ability to, you know, to uh, uh, overcome some goals that they have socially and emotionally for themselves.
I've seen so many of the transformations and what I always walk away with are the mother's stories talking about how their children have just made such enormous improvements, both <laughs> mentally and physically. So if you are looking for a place to donate, this is the place to do it because all you need to see is one interview with one mother and then you are sold. So great to have you here, Peter. Thank you. Thank you. Trot is having an online silent auction, and you can view the items beginning tomorrow at 8 a.m. Bidding starts at 6 p.m. on Friday and will wrap up on Sunday at 6 p.m. For more information about the auction, you can check out bidpal.net slash trot in place. Also, if you'd like to learn more about Trot, you can head over to their website at trotarizona.org.